council. I'm the legislative guy. I'm in the legislative every day. Yep. Down there fighting it, fighting it. You blocked it. Oling Walker blocked it. Democrat. Everybody blocked it. Our AMPS bill, they passed it down there this year. I caught New Scale lobbying in session. So the governor on this campus interview, he promised me he wouldn't. He says, I'll veto it. Stop it. He didn't. So the 700,000 tons of depleted uranium you blocked is coming here today. But the bigger issue is new scale. So tell me, put this in perspective, is this the first waste we've had come into the state in a long years? time? And what kind of waste is it? It's the depleted uranium. It's so-called low level, but it grows. But the bigger issue is San Onofre shut down. I'm the lead on the San Onofre shut down in San Diego. So they had an accident down there. They had it, and so it's hotter and hot. So they brought the generator and parked out there, and we went out there with Geiger counters. Now I've got leukemia. I've got it. I was in the bone marrow transplant at LDS for four years. I talked to your dad about this. Blah blah blah. So. We went out there with Geiger counters, hundreds of thousands of times over the state legal limits. Me and Deb, the neurosurgeon that works for Huntsman, her and I work together on this. We video everything, and so, but the bigger thing, you know about the SMR disaster in Russia. It's been, why is it being so covered up? Nobody knows anything. They rely on me. Well, here in the U.S. Oh, yeah. You mean you're talking about the research that's happening in China? Yeah, it killed five scientists on the White Sea, and it's an SMR. So the only place on Earth that's funding the SMRs now, in the, on Earth, besides the Russians, is Utah. They passed it. Will you, will you send me the information? Yeah. And so... I was I was there when that incident happened. I knew you were. Uh, yeah, and we collected as much information as we could on the fallout just to confirm that it was what we thought. A reactor. Uh, An SMR. It's a dangerous, so, a dangerous also, incident. the other issue is, you know, the Fukushima disaster ongoing. You've got to know about that nightmare. Well, I was living next door. Exactly, and you know the Chinese go crazy about it. I'm in Vienna all the time. They go crazy, but here... So, you know, and I, I'm a big supporter of yours. I was back then. Well, send me the information. I will, I John. To, I want to I want to get... Uh, so I really get appreciate it. You're a, you're a Ross Kelly from here. I'm an Ogdenite, born and raised here. You're from Ogdenite. You recognize it? Well, oh, of course. I know all the family. Yeah. And so, and I'm a big supporter of yours. When you were, you were great governor. A real I think you're the best governor we ever had. Well, you're kind. And I, I, I was so thrilled you when you said you were going to run. Because me and the governor, I was, you know, we're friends. <laughs> Gary, but and I understand what he's up against. God, we have no resistance here. I did it. You know, you got me, a leukemia guy with a YouTube camera. So thanks, man. Yeah, but that that counts too. But like you said, you get active. Nobody's more active than me, and I got cancer. I will. I will. Stay healthy, Wade. Yeah, for sure. How you doing? Well, I'm alive. I was given two months to live eight years ago. So here I am. Tell you, that's that's something to celebrate. Amen. I was in that bone marrow transplant at LDS for four years, down to 119. That's a 1% John Hopkins survival bracelet. So I do all this activism while sick. Well, you know, if that don't get you off your ass going, what does? And your mom and dad both went from it? I talked to your dad lots of times. You know, your dad came into my room and visited me at LDSE State. So, fight on.